Hello again, everybody! Zack Attack is here with the attack line for Wednesday, November the 14th, 2012. Alright, let's kick off today with the billboard number ones. Still everything! First, your still number one album for the third week in a row is Taylor Swift's Red, who is set to kick it. To get, off, to get kicked off next week, but I'll tell you who when I tell you the news on the band that will kick off Taylor next week, in my mind. Next. But also, unfortunately for me, still, yes, number one single on the hot one on the charts for the ninth week in a row, tying with Call Me Maybe as the longest number one single this year, One More Night by Maroon 5. And that also means Size Gingham Style is still stuck at number two for an eighth week. And Maroon 5 at least tying up Call Ray Jepsen and beating the eight week reign of uh, Gontier's Revenge for Maroon since the other big hit this year paid for was stuck at number two. Two Call Me Maybe and someone that I used to know. So, good for Maroon 5 tying with Call Ray as number one for ninth week. Now, I mentioned you got some number one could be news on could be number ones. I mentioned Taylor Swift's number one for a third week, but it won't be for long as next week she's expected to get kicked off by One Direction in their album Take Me Home. Of course, it will be the second chart topper if it does be number one since Up All Night Date this past spring. And of course, One Direction seems to be everywhere these days magazines, Pepsi commercials. And now they are headed towards the big screen. One Direction did the promotional fury announced on the Today Show that they will be in a 3D movie. And the director of the upcoming 3D movie, which is already have a release date of August 30th, 2013, which means Labor Day, the director of this movie is kind of weird. From kind of a weird choice for a 3D movie, they are choosing the director of a documentary entitled. Super Size Me, Morgan Spurlock. Of course, known for that movie, of course, eating McDonald's for nothing than 30 days. Morgan Spurlock announced in a press release about working with One Direction, saying this is an incredible opportunity and amazing moment in time for the band. The film will be released by TriStar. Of course, makes sense since uh, One Direction signed to Epic Records, Sony BMG companies for a Sony movie company like TriStar is making it. It will be produced by Simon Cowell, who of course discovered him on the X Factor. Simon did release his own statement about this movie, saying that Morgan is the perfect person to get that access all areas. Behind the scenes look into what it's like to be One Direction today. So, uh, there you go. One Direction. Guessing, indeed. For their 3D movie. Following the footsteps of many people who have done 3D movies, like Katy Perry, Justin Bieber, Anna Montana, and Jonas Brothers, who like One Direction, will be unpopular by the time the movie comes out. We'll see what happens by the movie comes out, and of course the tour, which is also taking place next year. They didn't tell when they're going to shoot it, probably during the next tour, which is indeed next year. So there you go. Now, while One Direction but fans kick off Taylor Swift next week, one artist, like I said, still stuck at number two this week, Hopefully be number one, hopefully next week, is Opa Gangnam Style by Psy, of course. Now, psy has been everywhere, and everyone's been doing the dance. Glee's about to do it, even Bruce Springsteen did it. But now, the recent person who's been doing Gangnam Style, and of course, I met, uh, she mentioned Carrie Underwood, and Brad Paisley did it at the CMAs a few weeks ago. But now, Madonna's the latest to do it, with Psy himself. Last night, in NYC, of course, Madonna's been doing a couple of shows in the NYC area. She's been Getting a little bit more controversy by showing off a crack for people to donate to Hurricane Sandy. That's kind of desperate for that. But the night after, that was on that was on Monday night. Which he showed off a crack for people to donate to Sandy efforts. But the next night, last night, she brought out Cy for a mashup of Give It To Me from Hard Candy and Gungam Style. Of course, Madonna did the dance and it's all over YouTube right now. I saw it last night. And despite some people calling it desperate for Madonna to fit in. And think Madonna's days are done. I thought the clip was kind of cool. You know, Madonna's doing gigs like everybody else is. You know, Bruce Springsteen's doing it. I read a lot of people have done it. So, who else did Madonna to do Gangnam Style? And it was kind of funny and cool at the same time. So, there you go, Madonna doing the Gangnam Style with Psy at a show 
and MSG. Now, of course, Madonna has won a Grammy or two. But it won't be nominated. Maybe for the best dance album for the Grammys. Of course, we'll find out if she'll be nominated for a Grammy again at the Grammy nominations concert, which will take place on December 5th at 10, 9 Central on CBS. Of course, there have been a lot of performances set as LL Kuja and Taylor Swift will be hosting. As, of course, new performers have been added for it, including Neo and Fun have been added to the already confirmed performers, Luke Bryan. And Maroon 5. Of course, the event will take place at the Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. And more performers and presenters for the ceremony to announce the nominees will be announced as well, according to CBS. So that ceremony will take place on December 5th, as I mentioned. That the nominees will be formally announced. Not just on the show, but after the show. The whole list. <sighs> now, on with the wrestling news of the day. Starting with autobiographies. Now, many wrestlers have released autobiographies. We'll see WWE people. The Rock, Hulk Hogan, now TNA guy. Kurt Angle, now TNA guy. Uh, Batista, Ric Flair, a lot of names have released biographies. Autobiographies. Now, add the name to the list of people, wrestlers who have done autobiographies. AJ Styles. Yes, AJ Styles is going to be making his own autobiography. He announced the deal yesterday and uh, it will come out sometime next year. I forgot who's making a book of who's gonna publish the book. But uh, they released a statement, like I said, a global book deal with VIP Publishing. That's the uh, publishing company that's going to release this book. And VIP Inc. Publishing has released a press release, a statement about working with AJ Styles for autobiography. No one, and if it's going to be him or him and a ghostwriter, which many wrestlers have done. And, uh, of course, AJ's done a lot. Former tag champion, exhibition champ, war champ, all that. And, uh, they're saying that Styles' autobiography will cover his life from both in and out of the ring. His autobiography will highlight being brought up in a military family that struggled with poverty and alcoholism. Styles is a devoted Christian and stated on many occasions that it's God and family, f God first and family second. Autobiography will have his fans gasping for more as they'll be able to appreciate Styles' life from his severe beginnings to his TNA World Heavyweight Championship reigns. Like I said, uh, they're probably going to release it sometime next year. No formal release date pressed for it yet. But we'll see what happens with that book and see if it's successful. First time for a TNA guy. I don't think any other TNA guy has released an autobiography yet. As I know of. So there you go. AJ Styles autobiography. No name, no release date. But it's coming soon. Probably next year. Now, on with some wrestling news. I've been hearing rumors about Randy Orton turning heel. Now, of course, on Monday night. Miz turned face this past Monday by joining Team Foley. And I said it on my wall review that good faces, that bad, the good heels turn into bad faces. Ain't that right, Randy Orton? I said in that video. Of course, Randy Orton has not been a good face, but now I'm hearing that Randy Orton has been begging WWE to turn heel. And now that Orton's going to be pushed back into the spotlight, into the big main events again. They're thinking about making him turn here at Survivor Series this Sunday. I hope so. Seriously. I've said it in my video. Orton is a great hero. He has been a great hero. And him as a face has been kind of weird. So now that he's going to be face again. And Miz I mean, turning heel again, Orton. And Miz turning face. That's a good trade-off. You know, Miz goes from here to face. And Orton from face to heel. Hope that he doesn't fuck this one up. So there you go. Orton set to turn heel again. I hope so. Now, on the last thing today, preview of Modern Family tonight. Now, last week on Modern, we saw Haley get busted for underage drinking, taking responsibility for it, but with that, getting kicked out of college. And now we'll see what a future would hold. Well, Alex had a room decorated. Now she's got to be sharing a room again with Haley as she's back in her own room again as she tries to figure out what's next after getting kicked out of college. But I think Alex goes to a triathlon tonight and Something happens there, so we'll see what happens on Modern Family tonight at 9 
on ABC. The last three have been great. Let's hope for a fourth straight good episode of Modern this evening. That is it for the attack line for today. Excuse me. I'll see you all later. With that in mind, you've all been attacked by the news from Zach. Thank you all again for watching. See you later. Yeah.